What's up everybody? So we're back on the shop for day two of the daily vlog. We're going to be doing another sheath today. This one's going to be a little bit different than yesterday's. I'm going to be stepping it up a little bit and doing something that I've wanted to do for a little while. And you'll see what I'm doing whenever I actually start making it. But we're going to be making the sheath for this survival knife right here. So let's go ahead, jump into it, see how it turns out. So right here, we're actually reforming the kydex sheath that I'd already pressed. I went ahead, put it back in the oven, flattened the kydex back out, and then I'm repressing it because I did not like the way it was set up before. So we're getting it put back in the press now. And uh, I like that spine to be all the way up to the top of the inside of that taco sheath style, just like it is right there. We did do an outline of the blade so that when we're running this eyelet down here, we know that the eyelet is not going to interfere with the edge of the blade whenever we press it in. And I was playing around with a few different shapes, but I like my Kydex sheaths to be as minimalist as possible, so we're going to go ahead and erase those. Now we're taking this little clip that I have off of one of my gun holsters because I like the spacing of the holes and we're just going to use it as a template to draw these holes for the eyelets. Then we're just going to fine tune the, the back one, the one that's directly underneath the handle and get it to where I feel comfortable with where it's at. There we go, that's the rough shape of it. We're gonna go ahead and do a center punch on these holes so that we have a little guide for our drill bit on the next step. And we are going to use a small drill bit to do a pilot hole. And then we're going to take that out and go ahead and go to the step bit. Again, I like these step bits because they do not melt the kydex. I've used regular drill bits in the past and it just melts the kydex no matter how low the speed I go on my drill press. And then again, make sure that you put enough room on the outside of this so that you can sand back to the actual finished shape. You don't want to cut too close to those holes or your eyelets will overhang off the edge of the kydex. And that's the last thing you want. We're using a 120 grit drum on this oscillating spindle sander to get a nice radius where your finger is going to go when you're grabbing the knife out of the sheath. And then we're using a 400 grit belt. This is just a 400 grit ceramic belt and it does a real good job at not melting the kydex as well and gets a good finish on there prior to hand sanding. We just go through them to kind of start rounding the edges over just a little bit to make a real smooth edge. It just feels comfortable when you're holding it and the final product. You don't want any sharp edges on any of this. Really like that shape. And we're going to go ahead and hand sand. We're starting with a 500 grit and we are going to final sand this with 1000 grit but we do want to hit all of the edges with the 500 first. It puts a good finish 
on the sheath itself. And you can see that, that finish on the edge there. It's just a real smooth finish. And as you notice, I have not put any eyelets on here yet. You don't do that until after this. Because between that step and this step, I did go through and wash it out to make sure there was no more dust and filings inside the sheath. We put that one eyelet in there so that I can actually have it pinched together while I'm doing this step right here. And this is just relieving the tension so that it's not being retained by the ricasso slash sharpening choil area. I want the retention to be on the handle itself. And you can see there's already a little bit of retention on the handle, but we're gonna go ahead and heat this up and pinch it down around the handle. So we get it heated up, go ahead and put the knife in there, and then we pinch it right there around the handle, and then we're gonna go ahead and move that top piece up so we have a nice uh, thumb perch, I don't exactly know what you call this little thing. I just know that it helps with releasing the knife from the sheath. But really like this shape and it has a real good retention on it. A nice solid click into place. It's not going anywhere. Now we can take it and go ahead and put the rest of the eyelets in. I don't have a fancy press. I have to hammer them in every single time. I might get either a press or a small little anvil to do this so I can stop doing it on my vise. But my vise works for right now, so that's what we're going to be using. Now we're going to go ahead and do a step that I didn't do on the last one. And it does help whenever you actually do it the, the right way, the shiny side on the inside instead of the outside. But we're going to go ahead and do a overlay on this sheath. And that's what we're doing right now with this uh, FDE Kydex. So it did get a nice shape to it. It fit this sheath perfectly. And... Uh, once I realized that everything was, you know, nice and smooth right there, I did need to put in an area so that I could mount the hardware. So I am heating up this one side of the, of the overlay so that I can slide the sheath in there. And then I have a piece of cutoff stock that I'm using right here and I'm just pushing it in there and I'm going to press the overlay around it to give myself a little space for the hardware to mount the ulti clip onto. Now we're just trimming it down to be able to fit the sheath the way that I want it to fit it. After I get done trimming this, we do take it to the Oslang spindle sander and the belt grinder and also hand sand it and get it all smooth. I just didn't feel the need to show that step again because we already so all of that, it's just rinse and repeat to what I did to the main sheath. Now we're mounting the ulti clip on there. And the cool thing about this is this is removable, so you can kind of play with that however you want. Then you just use regular sheath hardware to put this back together.
And that's how it turned out. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up day two of the daily vlog. So we got our two-piece sheath here. Got the ulti clip on the back here. Spaced out and then 100% flush on this side. You can just unscrew this and remove this whole flat dark earth piece if you want to. But that's it right there. We got our thumb perch. Nice retention on there. That ain't going anywhere. Love the way this turned out. But guys, y'all tell me what y'all think about it in the comments section. And if you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or share a video that I've done in the past that might be your favorite. And if you haven't yet, bottom corner, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of whenever I do stuff like this. Right there. Plus some of that stuff and some of that stuff. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that's the end of this one. Y'all have an amazing day. I'll catch y'all next time.